Hi, I'm Sam Smythe. This is a uh, Bentley Anage T. We have uh, Sam Smythe Imported Car Service here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're an authorized service, uh, independent workshop. We were uh, uh, commissioned by uh, VW North America and Bentley Crew Limited out of the UK. Um, that made us, uh, we have all the information uh, of all these contemporary cars to present day. Um, and we provide all the service on them. We don't provide warranty work. Uh, we could, but we don't. Uh, but we, that, it allows us to have all the particular scan equipment, parts at our disposal, anything we need to service one of these automobiles. Anyway, with that being said, we always try and find a way to help save uh, a Bentley customer or any customer for that fact a couple dollars and make their job a little bit easier. There's a lot of do-it-yourselfers that uh, you know, or car men and like to do some of the things themselves and uh, that's not a problem. We don't begrudge anybody like that. If you don't know though, give us a call um, or stop by. But anyway, um, we're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've been established out of Ireland since 1934. Anyway, back to this car. This is a 2005 Bentley Anage T, the twin turbo one. Um, anyway, we're going to uh, this replace a set of cabin air filters and charcoal Filters. Um, we want to show you, give you some insight on what to do. Um, we did have one person bring up a good thing. Sam, how do I know I have it in right or not, or someone else has done it? I don't know if it's in, in the cabin filters in right or not. Well, in this particular case, we're going to show you there's another alternative in a part number for the cabin air filters. So um, you can go ahead and um, change out the factories and go ahead and put in a a factory approved uh, UK built one so anyway I'm going to show you the bulkhead ones right here we've removed the two screws they're two Phillips screws right here and once you remove those you lift this up dead straight and comes out that way okay so you can see that this is really dirty um, now this is solid mass right here, so you, you can't get the filter out this way. Um, I think what somebody was talking about is what way. This is a factory filter, okay? So, and the reason being is, and you can tell, is instead of having any foam around this, this is all plastic, and it, it, it pushes and locks itself down. But it has a single tab right here, and then obviously there's your tab mark there and it locks in that way. This has a piece of rubber. We, we took this off. You can keep the camera over that way still. Okay. It had a piece of rubber like this all around here as a seal that also was additional to help keep this sealed really, really well. Now we've gone ahead and, and taken that off obviously as you can see for uh, the video point but we also put our camera across here so if you have a cell phone with a camera you just put it across there with your flash on and you take a picture there's a drain hole in there and uh, you can blow the drain holes out and you can also see if there's any debris or anything that's in there before you just go and stick stick your cabin air filter in without looking what's the, the case or anything I don't know if we can see it in there um, I was able to take a picture with my cell phone we'll put that up maybe on some something for you but um anyway this gentleman called me he said sam i got a notch t this is a great video you're doing wow i appreciate it. only one thing is how do i know if these things were put in right well if you look at this framing again once again this I'll, I'll pop, this is the factory filter i can't i can't put it in this way i'll show you look okay see it doesn't it doesn't fit in anything okay so he may have been saying to me too i don't know on the phone Hey Sam, okay, well that's great. I got I got this and it's in there. I wasn't talking about that way. I'm, I'm asking about this way. Well, this does show a little a snap tab here, okay? And if you look, you can't put it in the opposite way. It, it won't go down in there flat, okay? So with that being said, with that little tab lined up that way and it pushed in, you're in there, correct, okay? You're, the, the flow of direction of air is correct. The way this goes in, you can't put it this way because the, the alignment of the screws and everything won't line up the correct way. Now there's also a seal right here. Here, see that seal? There's a seal that goes right around here uh, 
on this whole piece. Um, and you're to replace those. Um, you ch inspect them for wear or tear or anything, and you replace those uh, based upon their condition. But um, make sure when you get them sent to you from Bentley or whomever on those seals that, you know, they don't have... We just happened to look at this, and if you look right here, see? This is the rubber seal, and look, it's out of date. So even the uh, a 2012 is out of date for the seal, let alone the one that's in the car since 2005, okay? So people wonder why, you know, oh, did the shop break my piece of plastic, you know, taking my engine thing off? They must have done something wrong. No, this plastic and rubber and all this stuff they made today that they put on these cars to kind of hide the combustion engine from the, you know, the, the technicians that like to do some things themselves or the, the good old boys that could, you know, change a spark plug taught by dad and, and uh, that sort of thing. The plastic's just a, just a, a thing that hides and can cost some money when it, when it gets hard, it gets brittle or rubber, it shrinks. That sort of thing, you know, and, and then you have to replace it no matter what because it doesn't seal good. You know, it just, just more and more in this disposable plastic world. Now, that's great for lightness. This particular car is a very high-speed car. So, right, with running with the twin turbos, and as it went a few years, New York had even increased more power out of these cars, um, which is just unbelievable for a sedan automobile. Uh, so, anyway, I think this one was like 450, and I think the newer ones got up to 500, and then... I think you can chip, play around with everything, and push out a lot more. What you know, sky's the limit between dollar bills and where you want to be. But anyway, getting back to this filter, okay. Once again, this has like a little trough in it all the way around, and the filter goes in that way. It will not go in this way, you know, and sit down flat. So you can't get the air direction wrong. But let me show you something that's really keen to all the viewers out there. And set this right over here, nice and easy. We don't want to scratch anything. So, okay, to all the viewers out there, I'm going to give you a part number and everything and an airflow. It's called Alco. You see that A L C O? Um, this is made in UK. Okay. EU. Or EU, sorry. Yeah, European Union. Well, well, UK, European Union, whatever. Anyway, with that being said, it shows the airflow. It shows the part number of this. It's an MS-6141C, okay? And then it's 101411, 101411. So, okay, now, there is a slight variation. This is not going to be as good as the Bentley one, guarantee, okay? Um, it's not going to be as bad, or it's not going to be inefficient. Um, it's just, this is a lot lighter doesn't have the weight and the, the if you look at this I'll just give you an example this one weighs a lot more okay all right and it's not the plastic okay the filtering in this look at the size of the size of this filtering yeah. compared to the size of this filtering I mean see? really if you okay. look it looks like this one just doesn't have as much charcoal which exactly know, so the, the where you client. cut back but here's the nice deal about all this you know I don't want to keep have one made real heavy duty, keep it in the car a very long period of time so I can possibly breathe contaminants. I would rather have a thinner one like this, to be perfectly honest with you, for less money and replace it more frequently. Um, there's always road construction going on, especially in the summertime. So let's say you come to Sam Smythe and you get that filter all put in there, you know, and it's all great. And you, you know, the next minute, you know, it's, it's not even... Eight weeks later, they had construction around your house. You open your hood up, you take your finger like this, and you see, you see nothing there, but you do it on another car, and it's like the dust that's like right here, you can see. I'm moving it, but that's all over your engine compartment. Your finger's looking like this in, in 10 seconds. So then you're like, uh-oh, I, I really need to replace those again. Well, if you're paying some big, big money for the other ones, you know, that might get you a little upset. So this is just a lot more a lot more affordable and a better way to go, um, in my opinion, uh, for the do-it-yourselfers who like to do that. Um, you know, if if you don't, well, or money's not the issue, that sort of thing, then go ahead and buy the Bentley ones because they are the best. And you can't beat Bentley Factory. If they tell you this is what they like in the product of the car, then you, you really should put 
that product in the car. This particular owner, he's a car collector, and so uh, he likes to replace things more and stay on top of his service a little bit more, so he doesn't mind having something like this for less money and do it more frequently. Uh, that's his philosophy as far as car service goes, um, to keep his uh, maintain costs down. So anyway, um, he figures fluids are a lot cheaper than actual braking mechanical parts. So anyway, you have this trough here, and this is an, the aftermarket one. This is a factory one. The factory one has a single tab on it there. Okay. Now, this aftermarket, and it has no identification whatsoever on it. None. So that was a real good question. What way does it go in? Well, once again, it can only go in one way. It can only snap down this way. Now, you can have this on the opposite side, the little tab, but we're going to tell you that common sense is going to show you that's where the tab goes. Not necessary that you actually have to. This is the correct way, though. Okay? It will sit in this way, see? But it's not the preferred way at all. Like anything, there's only one way to do it, and that's the right way. And if you don't know, ask. There's no stupid questions, just dumb answers out there. Okay, so anyway, the aftermarket one, obviously, look, see? Oh, wow. But then you get to your question, airflow. Well, it takes the air in this way, okay, to the blower motors. It sucks it in. And gall goes in a direction to the to the inside to the seats through the dash to the seat. So you want the if it you can only sit in the trough to one way. Okay. Now you have two tabs on this one, see, because it's designed for more than one application. All right. But what you have here is say that hard plastic. You have a, a felt foam. Okay. And it it sits down in there. See. Okay. And it's down in there. It's this piece is touching this piece, this piece is touching this piece. But you get the idea, you can see what's going on. This is a much lighter piece. But the airflow direction, right there, is going down that way. Which, this piece is going in this way. It can only go in one way. If you look at the marks, it can only fit in one way. Okay? Then what you have, for example, now, for, for the video purposes, we're not going to do this. This can just take too long So <laughs> for a minute here. so. But anyway, you peel these off, okay, and you put on the new ones, which in this case, we're going to send back and get some newer ones, or we have some newer ones here, okay. Um, now, this is a little strut shock, not to change the subject, but... In case your brake light reads on your on your dash, this is a strut rod for your um, handbrake. When you pull your handbrake off, uh, it's supposed to turn the light off on the dash. This is a little uh, strut rod that does that. They go bad. The little gas goes bad, and then and then right here where it hooks up, the little pin and stuff, it actually gets a little sloppiness in it, and it keeps your little brake light on. You think there's a brake problem in the car when it's really not. It's a little strut rod that goes down underneath your left leg, which is called the knee roll on a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. Uh, a lot of people just call it under the dash or under a steering wheel. Well, the correct terminology for Bentley is knee roll. So anyway, we're putting one of those on as well. But so now this is another Bentley part. This is the, this is the seal for the pollen filter body, okay? And what's that say? U US 3066? Yeah, yeah it says US 3066. Yeah, okay. So, and you can see it as all crew labeled part, all crew labeled. And it is, just to show you, when it had the old filter in it, once again, just to show you real quick, okay. Had the old filter in it. And I don't want to get this stuff around a new one, but look, you put this down and it seals all the way around the trough part that, that the actual piece sits in. We do have another piece, but you get the idea. It's all sealed. So, and then you take it, this sealed part with these real heavy grooves, okay, and you can see the other side. Other side, it's kind of like this side is more the charcoal. 
This side right here is more felt. So the felt is going closest to the windshield, okay? So anyway, you would take this and with all this perfect, you would drop it in that holder there, okay? Well, so we don't hold the video up. We have another thing to show you. These are the charcoal ones, but we're gonna move forward to the other ones and we're gonna let that go and we're gonna do this. I think everybody will have the understanding what they have to do. Don't get these air filters without contacting the Bentley dealer. Um, I don't know if this, this company here um, and the part number pro pro provides these seals. You need the one for here and you need the, the one I've just explained and shown to you. Yeah, so there's one that'll go around the filter yes. and then there's one that yes peter don't, actual yeah seal right uh, it's, i can show that to him but this one right here goes just like this it goes around here and that's the one we have that is this part number right the one up. the pa 26393pa you'll need two of those but as you can see the rubber's already expired on 2012 and this 2005 car so with that being said we're not going to use this i don't know why they and you will need two of these okay yeah and we'll just have to call them get in here us another yeah, i'm not one. worried about it but i'm just saying it, you know people might not want to know what that means <laughs> so anyway there's only one in it in these so you'll need two and there's only one in these or no there's actually two in these so you're okay you can order this part number and you'll get both for the bit larger seals so Smaller seal, larger seals. Okay, now, here we've got the inside cabin filter. These are called the charcoal canister filters out here. Um, and they can be inside too, depending on uh, other cars, what type you have. But, <laughs> you know, this thing is the outside. It was snapped on. Now, this little hole right here goes at the bottom. I'm going to show you everybody in a minute, but just you know and then it has a factory seal so if anybody tells you i clean these things and put them back uh you know you'll need to run and find another service garage okay because these seals here see that look that's a seal that was on there but these had been taken off this this part goes up in there and then this little piece which is really hard very hard and you have to be careful you, you pull it that way and it snaps it down out of the piece um but they actually had to tie strap it all in but anyway it, it that much dirt when i took it off it was just falling off going everywhere um you can see this is still kind of clean and you might say to yourself oh well i think that's good enough well no i don't think so the part number for these by bentley crew is pa29942 pa quantity one okay it comes with two all right so just to run over this again, the small cabin air filters, PA29942 PA quantity one comes with two of the small ones. The big ones, however, you have to order those individually. And the gaskets, the this gasket that seals around for the bigger ones, you'll have to order two. And then the big gasket that goes around it, that isn't the piece when you set it down and lock it down that fits around the canister that comes that's this pollen air filter body uh, gasket sealer it has two in the one so anyway let me open this up whoa okay so here you go folks it's like you're breathing this or you're breathing this I mean this you can actually I can actually I can actually see through this. I don't know if you guys can see through it. This is so clear. There is where I can see through it. May not show it on a camera. Obviously, you know, it's ridiculous, but, you know, we can't see through this. We know that. So the restriction of this and these can take out very expensive thousands of dollars of uh, between parts and labor time of blower money, resistors, Blower motors, not blower money. Well, yeah, it's blower money. Uh, but uh, blower motors, uh, your resistor, um, you know, control modules for your for your system. I mean, it just goes on and on. 
versus just replacing any of these filters. The, 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 it's just a no-brainer to do these filters. I'm going to walk over to the side of the car here. And I'm going to, now, the way you determine which side is correct on, on getting in and out of car and ordering a part, I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but if you do, great. But for the some people who don't know it, you always, when you're ordering a part, picture yourself sitting behind the steering wheel of a car. Okay, and then if you need a part for the right side, if you take it off on this right front, but if you're behind the steering wheel, you tell them you need it for the right side, always behind the steering wheel. That way you never get the wrong part. If you're standing in front of the car, the parts man doesn't know whether you're talking about the right or the left hand side on selling you a part. If he doesn't ask you or he assumes you know that you're supposed to be sitting behind the driver's side and telling him which side of the part you want, uh, you could end up getting the wrong parts. Um, in this particular case, may not be the issue, but I'm just talking about something else, whatever it may or may not be, like a left cam cover gasket. You know, that would be sitting behind the driver's wheel, the left-hand side, you know, and it's the left-hand side. If you're sitting in a right-hand drive car, a non-North American car, it's still the left-hand side. It doesn't matter. Say so there's no confusion there. It's always still the left side. Um, so, but if you're standing in front, then you would uh, you'd almost be reversing it. So just remember that when ordering parts, um, at least if it's needed. Um, in this case, it's it could be if you just ordered one filter, but it it makes sense to get two of the charcoal filters out front. I'd replace this stuff all as a set. Um, that way, you know, you can just stay up on it. But anyway. Um, I'm just going to point show where this is. I have, uh, I don't do too much under the dash work. I do dash height and above, and then uh, my other skilled techs do from there down. Um, you know, I'm older, got some steel on my back. You know, I just can't twist and turn like the younger guys can. So anyway, with that being said, uh, um, my... Uh, uh, you want me to go down there? Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. If you would, please, that'd be great if you could show them. Oh, yeah. Oy. It's kind of dark down here, to be honest. Yeah, right, right there, Pete. No, no, actually, we're gonna need a flashlight. Can you give me a flashlight? Yeah, I can get a flashlight. Okay, so one, two, right. All right. Check out this Bentley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful car. Yeah, get everybody to show them that. The dash and electronics. Give me one second. I'll find where I put the flashlight. I moved it yesterday. All right. Yeah. Sam Smith and Port Car Service, established in Ireland. I was doing some scanning uh, yeah. on, a, on a Lamborghini and a, one on a, a Ferrari, and then I just I don't know what, what I did with it. Hold on. We have a few other cars in the shop right now. We have a, uh, this guy say 61 Silver Cloud. Real nice car. Yeah, and for the, some uh, engine work. Yeah, the uh, 61 too. How weird is that? Oh, yeah, we have a, the other, uh, 16. <laughs> the 61 Triumph TR3. It's only in here for a little bit since it's raining out, but. I think our flashlight's been eaten. Hold on a minute. RIP our flashlight. All right, well, there okay, are anyway, two of these filters on either side of the car. Here, just let me Or, well, one filter on either side of the car. Let me, yeah, let me just show them. Look. Let me just show this. Okay, this filter here, the smaller one, there, you'll see when you're up, when you look up under here, the dash, okay, you, it's straight against this console piece here. You follow it back under. See my hand? 
and it goes up under. There's an air piece you'll see in here that comes in for uh, directing air in. And directly above that, up in the air, is where this piece snaps on. It snaps on way right up in there. You, you wouldn't be able to see it unless you crank your head right in there and you turn completely to the left, looking at it that way. You want to get up as much as you can on the right hand side to look to the left to actually be able to see it. But that's where this piece snaps on. It actually, these two pieces, you will need a good light. These two pieces will go up in there and then this piece here, right here, is snaps over a single pin. So you want to make sure you get this up in there and snap it on the pin and make sure you don't break the pin off. So you need to, you know, be very careful. Then on that other one, as you saw, there was something hanging from it and whatnot. Well, this is a factory seal right here on here. So you have to be careful with that. But that seal right there, as soon as it gets any like, type of heat or anything, it then just mates it. Just like where we have to put a seal on the bigger uh, charcoal uh, filter outside, we manually put that on. On this particular one, it's just stuck on here. So there is no reusing this or cleaning this or taking this piece off again because you just lose that seal. And uh, this material is made to only use once. So um, I didn't know how clear this would actually be or turn out until I actually had it in my hands. Um, we were down, we were out of stock on these and uh, we ordered these in very quickly uh, from one of our uh, Bentley distributors here, our, 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 an actual Bentley dealer, our actual distributors, uh, Jack Barkley of London, they usually keep about 200, 250 cars in the UK for service every month. That tells you how big they are. And they've been around uh, about four or five or more years than us. We started in 34, I think they started in 24, 10 years maybe, I, I'm not sure, whatever. But anyway, um, uh, we didn't have this, and I couldn't do its comp comparison. But there's one on this side, and there's one on the other side. And it's here's the console, and you'd run your hand all the way back up, follow that carpet back up high, and take a light and look straight up in there where my finger's pointing. You will see this thing sitting straight like this up in there. And uh, if it does, if it's not clean, it might look like this black carpet. <laughs> so you might have a problem identifying it. So anyway, with that all being said, uh, uh, my apprentice will go ahead and replace that. Uh, we do it the same way here. We, uh, we have apprentice uh, ship uh, with men, just like Bentley and crew. Uh, no one here has a free reign on anything and, and uh, gets to be uh, working on your car without the knowledge. Uh, they'll be shown how to do something or, or uh, they'll already know how to do it. And uh, just because they know how to do it for one year doesn't mean they're uh, qualified expert apprentice either um, we actually work the same way as they do overseas so um, with that being said our, uh, you know we I have very skilled uh, men that come in and help me from time to time here so anyway this bring back the information on this again this is a 2005 Bentley Nash T that was the inside cabin air filter which is actually called the cabin air filter and then out here, this is called the charcoal canister. So these are air charcoal canister or charcoal filters um, for, that's actually in a frame assembly. It's not like a charcoal canister for fuel. But anyway, it's a charcoal filter if you want to be specific. Um, and it's always the larger one and more heavy duty. So if you're talking to a parts man or somebody who's not familiar because you're not Maybe you're not getting it from Bentley Crew. I don't know. I can only recommend Bentley Crew, but if an owner wishes me to put something else in or wishes me wishes to bring a part in, if I find it's good, great, I'll put it in. If I find it's junk or not to my liking, I don't think there's anything junk out there. It's just to my liking, then I won't put it in. I won't, I won't even do the service. Um, I've been in this business too long that I either want to do it. You know, I've always wanted to do something right. Uh, never long. But there you go, there's the inside. And here you have it. This is in the engine bay area. And this is uh, factory. And this is aftermarket. There's two of these. You see the difference. Factory has a plastic all around it that was pushed in. Aftermarket actually has a direction of airflow to show you in case the thing would get turned around but believe me it won't fit in a 
won't fit in its case if it gets turned around. And then this also has some foam around it too. So plus the uh, factory has a single tab. This one has twin tabs. So anyway, with that being said, or they may have gone to a later model one uh, as well. And then they, they make uh, one just do both. Uh, you see a lot of that going on. As time goes on with cars, we'll see something like, for example, this one has two tabs and you go, oh no, you didn't send me the right one. Well, no, no, no. It just means that, okay, it'll fit in there just like the single tab one. So it doesn't mean it's wrong. But anyway, this is a 2005 Bentley Anage twin turbo, all hand built, beautiful car. It's got the signature of the gentleman, hand built, crew England. It's got the engine number on it and everything. We provided uh, some pretty intense service on it here and there. We, uh, we didn't do everything on this car. Some other work was done. The car came in from New, New Jersey. And we went around, straightened up everything we could see at the time and took care of all that and had the owner come in, road test it, drive it and everything. And these were the last final things that had come up. We had worked on the leveling system, part of the cooling system, braking system, uh, you know, to general service on the car. Basically, just did a lot of things. I mean, he, like the trunk was even falling up, trying to fall on your head, so we had to put the gas shocks on that, take care of that. No, oh, by the way, on these anages, the deck lid's so heavy, they use four gas shocks. Now, it will help you assist it, but uh, if you're familiar with all your other newer cars you might have, you press the button or you lift it, they automatically lift. Now, these four shocks, they'll help it. It guaranteed it won't fall when it's replaced new and they're good, but and it hasn't had any filler or anything done on the trunk, as long as that's all original. But um, on that deck lid, those shocks, it's so heavy that it, it helps assist it. You still may have to use your hand to help take it all the way up. That doesn't mean the other technician did anything wrong. It just means you have a heavy deck lid and that's the way they build it. So, and they got into it where they realized they needed four shocks instead of two to uh, hold that up in its up position. Anyway, I'm Sam Smythe. This is Sam Smythe Imported Car Service here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, you can reach us on the uh, web at uh, www.smythimports.com. I am P O R T S.com, just as it sounds. And, uh, we're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're an authorized service uh, facility, authorized Bentley workshop, in, an independent Bentley workshop is our official title. We're approved by VW North America who owns it, and Bentley Limited out of Crew England as well. Uh, it's gave their blessing, uh, which you need to be the authorized independent. Um, as I know, we're the only ones, or had been, um, and we've been in this program seven year, several years running. We were the only ones in the world um, I don't know if we still are, but anyway, with that being said, we've got a lot of experience. We've always worked on Bentleys and Rolls Royces, so this is not new. The vintage Bentleys we work on, all the way to the new contemporary cars. So with that being said, if you need information, uh, give us a phone call or stop by. Uh, we do work, however, by appointments, and we do work by first come, first serve. So, and there are no exceptions to that rule. We only have a small place. And uh, until we expand larger, that's the only way it can be. So anyway, uh, once again, I'm Sam Smythe. The telephone number here is 513-793-0434. And again, that's area code 513-793-0434. And this is a 2005 Bentley Anaj T. Uh, thank you for viewing our video. We hope it's been helpful to you.